All right, so let's take this foot around too. I just dropped my phone trying to do the other video, but hey, YouTube, you know, keep your county. Um, I was trying to do what? What was the hashtag? Whatever gets you talking. You know, I haven't been on here in so long. It's almost like I don't even remember. Um, but um, this topic today is um, my gift in value. So um, I was speaking with my aunt and. Um, she and I were having a conversation, and it, the, the conversation was for her, but it was also for me as well. And it was in um, seeing like, the value in yourself. Um, like, we'll see others, and we'll see how beautiful they are, how intelligent they are, um, you know, all of their accomplishments. And then we'll look at ourselves and only see flaws, which is an issue, right? Because you are... I mean, you're you. No one else can do that better than you can. And how can you expect somebody to see value in what you're not seeing value in? Um, like when you know how they say you can't pour from an empty cup. Because like I said, um, I think I might have said it in a video or something before, or just in a conversation with anyone. Maybe um, when I was telling, when I was in my re last relationship, and I told him that I loved him more than I loved myself, and he told me that if that were the case, then I didn't actually love him. And I was like, I don't, I don't understand. But basically, he was saying that if I am me, um, with everything that I am, and I've you know been this my whole life, and I can put someone above myself and love them more than myself, putting myself at a deficit, then how can I possibly love him? Because if you can't, um, like, if you can love someone more than yourself. I, I don't know really how to explain it, but it made sense when he said it, because it's not like a selfish type thing, but you have to know like the origin um, of those emotions. So if you don't value yourself, how do you know what the value is on someone else? Like that's why you still have like certain insecurities, because you never fix the root of the problem. Like we, of course, are always trained to look outward. Right, because I mean, our eyes go deadly, and, and that is, you know, we're trained to look outward, but a lot of the things that we deal with are internal. So, like, now it's to the point where I wake up every morning, tell myself I'm awesome. And yeah, I stood up on that, I'm even send reminders on my phone to remind me that I'm awesome. Because if I don't think I'm awesome, then I can't display awesome and I can't convince you that I'm awesome if I can't convince myself that I'm awesome, you know what I mean? And discipline, oh, it's discipline. I really have to work on that. And it's not even really that we can't do it because when I was working a night shift, I would never get up in the morning, right? I'm always like, uh, it's just too early. Now that I'm working the morning shift, I still go to sleep at the same time, which means that I have the ability to get up. You know, after all this time, I tried to eat chicken, and almost died, because y'all know I haven't been eating meat, and I tried to eat some chicken. My stomach was mad, yeah, like it made me gag. It tasted exactly how I thought it was supposed to taste, right? But, it just didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know what my plans are for this upcoming year. I paid down so much debt, y'all oh, have no idea how much that is amazing. But I want to move soon. I don't know. Probably with my lease is up. I'm not sure if I want to move this time or in a year. Like, a, like time for another year. I'm not sure. But, I don't know. Anyway, I really just came out here to talk about that. Because I was like, I realized that, um, like, we make a lot of excuses for people. Or really for ourselves. Because really, we have control over everything. Like, that video that I was um, watching with Tyrese in it. Uh, not sorry, he wasn't in it, but he was the one speaking when he basically said that we put ourselves in these situations and we're trying to blame other people for what we are because everything that has to do with you can't happen without you. So if this person is hurting you and you won't get rid of them, then you have to accept that you're playing a part in it because you can't make people do anything. The only person you have control over is you. And if you can't stop yourself from accepting the abuse, then how can you stop the abuser? And I don't mean that as physical. I'm just saying, like, if you, if you can't remove yourself 
out of a situation that doesn't feel good to you, how can you have the audacity to say, well, I want them to stop doing it? You can't even control yourself, so how can you, what makes you think you can control someone else? But we can control ourselves, and that's the thing. We always try to, uh, like, put it on someone else. Well, I want them to do this for me. I want them to love me this way. Uh, I want to feel like this when I want them. I want them to call me. I want them to do this. So you can't make people do anything. I'm going to be a kind gesture on their part, but you can't make anyone do anything. What you can do is make yourself do it. If you want a relationship with that person, cool. Have a relationship with them. If you don't, cool. Don't. Whatever. There's no wrong answer when it comes to your sanity and your your health. There's no wrong answer. Um, if it benefits you. I mean, of course, you're killing people. That's probably not very good for the person being killed, right? So, I don't mean that. I don't mean anything like that extreme, but I do mean that if it's a situation that you have that you're not happy with, you have the ability to change it. You can stay here. You can move. You can, if you hate your job, you can go get another job. There's a lot of jobs out here that can get be got. Like, you, or if you don't want to work for anyone, create your own business. There's a lot of uh, different avenues. If there's another human that has done it, that means that you have the ability to do it. Because it's not always about, you know, what, like, you know, who, well, they say it's not what you know, it's who you know. But it's, it's a combination of all of that. It's a little bit of luck in there, too. But you control your own destiny. Like, don't get in your own way. If you have a dream and you, but then you're standing in your own way, there, you know, like it's, it's so much that I know that people can do and people are great at, but fear, fear holds like a lot of people, but I guarantee you, fear, fear is a really good friend, you know, it's, once you do everything that you want, fear will be sitting right there waiting on you, so you, you know, don't, you don't have to worry about leaving fear behind. No, you go ahead and do that. Leave fear behind. You don't have to worry about it. It's not going to be mad about it or nothing. It's not going to be in attendance about it. Because if you come back, it'll be there. You don't have to worry about that. So, you're supposed to think that good things are going to happen to you because you deserve it. Why not? Why wouldn't you think that you deserve it? Why wouldn't you think that you deserve for good things to happen to you? And be your own advocate. If no one else loves you, tell yourself every morning that you love you. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyway. I'm about to drink my little smoothie for lunch because you know all that. After I tried that little chicken, I feel like my stomach is all messed up. So, I'll see you later. Bye.